you're watching the SCAC YouTube channel and joining us today from Irving, Texas, it is the SCAC Softball Player of the Week, sophomore infielder Aaron Bagley from the University of Dallas softball team. And Aaron, first of all, thank you so much for joining us. No, thank you for having me. Aaron, we'll start with this. Just uh, It's early in the season. Uh, you guys went into your second week of play. Uh, after a, uh, a good first week, a competitive first week, just tell me a little bit about the team's mindset going into this weekend. Take me through practice a little bit as you got ready for your uh, four games this week. Um, practice this week and always has ha a really positive outlook. Um, everybody's coming out. Um, I don't think they quite have the confidence that they deserve to have in their skills, but I think we're going to get there really quickly. Um, they're coming out, we're all working really hard, and giving it all we have. Aaron, tell me a little bit about this. You had an outstanding weekend, 10 for 15 at the plate, 5 doubles, 10 RBIs, 2 runs scored. You did just a little bit of everything throughout the four games, and uh, most of all gave your team two victories throughout the week as well. How were you able to be so successful at the plate? Tell me through your, tell me what you were thinking going into your at-bats each time. Just uh, how were you able to be so uh, so successful? Um, really, I was just trying to have fun and love the game that I love to play. Um, I have a great team behind me, and I have a great lineup behind me of power hitters. So I know that um, in those five at-bats that I didn't get on base, I knew that the girls behind me in the lineup had my back. Now, uh, you know, tell me a little bit. Dallas has struggled a little bit in softball the last couple of years, but just based on a competitive standpoint, this team looks like it's starting to turn the corner, uh, having fun out there, as you've mentioned a few times, and, and looks to, looks as if they're going to pick up a couple wins this season. Tell me a little bit just about with the new coach coming in and what, you, what the girls have been able to do to kind of turn things around. Well, absolutely. We're going to pick up a couple of wins this season. I'm hoping that that's going to be an understatement and expecting that that's going to be an understatement. Um, we do have a new coach. We do have a lot of new players on the field as well. We have a lot of talent that just came in as freshmen. We are we do have a lot of young talent, but we're excited for the, all the potential that they have shown so far. Um, we are really just looking up. We have turned a corner with um, last year we struggled with not having enough players on the field and now we have softball players in the outfield, and they look good. <laughs> Aaron, tell me, moving forward for the University of Dallas, what's this team going to have to uh, continue to do throughout the season to, uh, to be successful? This team with the young minds and um, the struggles that we've had in the past is really just going to have to build confidence. Um, we do have the talent to build that confidence on. It's just a matter of believing it for our entire team. Aaron, we'll move on from here. Uh, we, we appreciate you uh, with the interview portion, but we're going to go and do a little bit of a bio blast with you. We're going we're gonna to send five random questions your way, and we just ask that you uh, answer them to the best of your ability. And uh, first thing we will start with, just tell me on this team, obviously a younger team and everything, but who's one of the goofiest, funniest players on the team? Oh, um... Alex Compte, absolutely. She plays third base right next to me, and she's got me laughing all the way through practice every day. <laughs> okay, now, kind of a side question here. Do you guys have walk-up songs, things like that? Yes, sir, we do. Okay, well, what is your walk-up song and why? Um, I actually, we actually have two walk-up songs of piece Ooh. that we rotate through. One is um, I'm a Shine. It's from just Dan or one of the dancing movies, but it's just a pump-up song. But the other one is Purple Haze by Jimi Hendrix, and that's just because my dad has trained me in rock and roll, so <laughs> well I have done. to put it up there. And look at y'all fancy with, with two walk-up songs throughout the game. That, that's impressive. Uh, tell me, what is, uh, what's your favorite color? Green. Green. Absolutely. Not, yes. not quite the blue that you guys wear, but uh, that's okay. Not blue. <laughs> All right. We've asked numerous athletes. I don't know if we're just conducting research or what at this point. We've asked numerous af athletes what are their favorite Gatorade or Powerade flavors and or some of them just refer to them as colors. So what is your favorite Gatorade or Powerade flavor and or color? Um, I guess my favorite Gatorade color is red, but I really only drink Gatorade when I'm sick, so you water. You should stick with <laughs> the water. I think that's the first water we've gotten, actually, so that's uh, that's that's a good thing. <laughs> and finally, we'll get you out on this. Uh, obviously, only a sophomore, so you got, you got plenty of ball left to play, but what is one of your most memorable moments so far in athletics? It doesn't necessarily have to be softball, but most of the time it usually is. So what's been one of your most memorable athletic moments? Um, most memorable athletic moment, 
would be hitting my first home run last year on the, my weekend of my birthday. Yeah, that's a that's that's a pretty solid one right there. That's 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 impressive there, uh, Aaron. We we thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we congratulate you on earning uh, Player of the Week, and we wish you and your team good luck the rest of the season. Thank you very much. Athletic Conference, a conference of good sports.